12-year-old Abby Weatherill was running. She was running from a bear, too. Um, she was a, I shouldn't say was, um, more like is, because unlike most uh, victims of bear attacks, she, uh, she did not die. Um, but she was, she was running one day in her neighborhood in Michigan, and all of a sudden, a massive black bear started to attack her. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about bear attacks. Um, the past few months, uh, especially in this past summer, have led to more bear attacks than uh, just about any summer in the past decade or so. Um, so I'm going to talk to you guys about what causes them and um, how to avoid them in some cases. And I do suggest that you pay attention because, frankly, you might want to know this just in case you, at some point, are the victim of a bear attack. So first of all, one of the biggest causes for, um, well, the, a deciding factor on whether or not a bear will attack is with, um, the type of bear and some of its previous experiences and habits in nature. Um, say, for instance, a grizzly bear is most likely um, more likely to attack than a black bear. That's just common nature and we see it in time to time that they are just overall more aggressive. Also, um, studies show from CNN that bear attacks are more likely to, to occur if the bear has had previous encounters with humans, whether violent or not, um, that usually does cause a bear attack in the future, especially if they've been fed. So don't feed bears. Um, now, the three major causes for a bear attack is when someone walks, is walking through the woods, hiking, photography, for some reason, and they come across a bear with cubs. Now, you know, it's just mother's instinct to want to protect their babies. So, um, whether the human is showing potential threat to that bear or not, um, sometimes the bear will attack either way. Also, the second largest cause for a bear attack is whether um, um, someone reacts to seeing a bear in the right way. Sometimes the bear will um, not feel threatened at all until someone reacts the wrong way, whether it's running away or if they are staring the bear right at the eye. It works kind of like um, how Jake mentioned with gorillas. If you stare directly into a bear's eye, that can trigger an attack. Also, um, going back to Abby Weatherall, um, bears attack when they're hungry. The, the investigators of that attack led, were led to believe that that bear was indeed just hungry, which um, those usually lead to the more violent attacks because a bear has been tracking this person for a long period of time and eventually catches up with them and decides to attack and they, they want to uh, brutally maul them. So, um, all these attacks can be avoided in some type of way. If someone um, is to come into contact with a bear, you're, you're supposed to act calmly and um, not stare at the bear directly in the eye and walk away slowly. And also, you're supposed to like talk to the bear, which is kind of strange, but apparently it works. So keep these things in mind the next time you're in bear country.